Hi, my name is Allison. I'm a marketing manager at Zoomerang. We've been around since 1999 and provide a self-service alternative for conducting accurate and comprehensive online surveys with minimal cost and effort. In today's tutorial, I'd like to provide you with some techniques on writing better online surveys. Writing an online survey can be pretty easy, but making sure that you're getting the most out of yours can be pretty challenging. So Zoomerang has come up with 10 quick tips on how to do this most efficiently. These tips were developed by market researchers and um, they will help you optimize your survey before sending it out. Following these tips will help you make sure that you're getting the feedback that you need to then turn into business decisions. So let's take a look at Zoomerang's 10 quick tips. So the first tip is to clearly define the purpose of your survey. Fuzzy goals tend to lead to fuzzy results, and the last thing you want to do is end up with a set of results that provide no real decision-enhancing value. Good surveys have focused objectives that are easily understood, so make sure to spend time up front to clearly define the goal of your survey and how you're going to use the data that you're collecting. The second tip is to keep your survey short and focused. This will help with both the quality and the quantity of response. It's generally better to focus on a single objective than try to create one master survey that covers multiple objectives. Shorter surveys generally have a higher response rate and a lower abandonment among survey takers. So try not to toss in nice to have questions that don't directly provide data to help you meet your objectives. Tip number three is to keep the questions simple. Make sure your questions get to the point and avoid the use of jargon. Try to make your questions as specific and direct as possible. So for example, instead of asking, how has your experience been with our HR team? Be specific and ask, how satisfied are you with the response time of our HR team? The fourth tip is to use close-ended questions whenever possible. Give your survey takers specific choices. This will make analyzing results much easier. Close-ended questions take the form of yes or no or multiple choice or rating scales. Tip number five is to keep rating scale questions consistent throughout the survey. Use the same number of points on the scale and make sure your meanings of high and low stay consistent throughout the survey. Also use an odd number in your rating scale to make data analysis much easier. The sixth tip is to make sure your survey flows in a logical order. Begin with a brief introduction that motivates the survey taker to complete the survey. It's also a good idea to start from broader base questions and then move to those narrower in scope. Try and collect demographic data and ask any sensitive questions at the end of the survey unless you're using this information to screen out survey participants. Tip number seven is to pre-test your survey. This will help you from deploying a survey with any glitches or unexpected question interpretations. Tip number eight is to consider your audience when you're sending survey invitations. For instance, you should send employee surveys during the business week and at a time that is suitable for your business. The ninth tip is to consider sending several reminders. While not appropriate for all surveys, sending out reminders to those who haven't previously responded can often provide a significant boost in response rate. The tenth and final tip is to consider offering an incentive. Depending upon the survey and the survey audience, this can be very effective in improving response rates. People like the idea of getting something for their time. Zoomerang Research has also shown that incentives typically boost response rates by 50% on average. One caveat is to keep the incentives appropriate in scope. Overly large incentives can lead to undesirable behavior. For example, people lying about demographics in order not to be screened out from the survey. So I hope these tips help you build a better survey and also help you make the most out of the data that you're gathering from them. If you have any questions about Zoomerang or want more information, please visit us at www.zoomerang.com. There's nothing to install, we're really easy to use, and we have over a million satisfied customers. So thank you so much for watching and have a great day.